Ain't that pretty? Get the old front end on it. goes on. This is Diecast Dave. I got a few flea market finds that I found in the last week or so. Actually able to get out and hunt for diecast after dealing with COVID for three weeks. Well, I'll show y'all what I found. The first one is a Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Car Culture 65 Dodge Cornet. It's an altered drag racing car. Eastbound ground. And it, it's a beautiful casting. Let's see if I can find the whole set eventually. Look at those tampons. Great detail on it. Bossy stacks on the top. Hood and deck lead pins. Leave this one in the pack. A really nice card art on it. Now, the next one was one that I, I bought this just down the road from the Bristol International Raceway. It's from a Food City 250, August 26, 1994, Bristol International Raceway. Number 52, Eastman Chevy Lumina, driven by Ken Strader. There's a box that come in. And here's the diecast. I got a couple different. Watch me drop it. <laughs> Bristol International Raceway promotional diecast. Nice little collectible. I live about 45 minutes from Bristol International Raceway and Dragway. Good interlock for the drag races, Super Chevy, which they call me Nards now. Nice little racetrack memento. Next, I have a one I've been looking for for a while. Johnny Lightning, Legends of the Quarter Mile. A Dick Landy and a Sox and Martin. The Dick Landy 70 Dodge Challenger Pro Stock and the Sox and Martin famous Superbird Superstock. Get y'all a good look at it. I'm not taking this out of the pack either. I think I saw that upper one in uh, Bristol. Tennessee, Thunder Valley Dragway, probably about 30 years ago. That is a beautiful cast, and look at the tampons on there. I'd like to have the mongoose and snake on too. And I met Don Perdon, but about 30 years ago or so down there. Mighty nice fella. Check out this bird. Mighty, mighty nice. 
say the next. <clears throat> this is a Hot Wheels. Let's see here. 2011 Treasure Run, Super Treasure Run, I guess you call it. Back before they had a regular 57 Chevy. Chrome base. It is a beauty. I won't be taking her out of the back either. I love the racing and the performance part man goes. 283 horsepower on the hood. Treasure hunt on top. 68 year old's born. Ain't that a beauty? Why can't he make treasure hunts and supers like this? Now. Couldn't use those peg warmers and fantasy baloney vehicles. That is such a beauty. I love it. I was glad to find out. And the last one is a it's a promotional car. I can't remember what it's from. It's from some Toy store or something. Yeah, let me know if you know what it is. It's a Wastelanders 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is all those collectors on the side. Planet Hot Wheels. Not for individual sale. What do you think about that, son? I guess that makes it collectible. I forgot what I gave for it. Very cheap. Very cheap. That's the way I like them. Cheaper I can get them better. Ain't that a beauty? I'll be leaving her in the back too. Look at that paint job, man. It's about like Spectre Clean. Video probably won't do it justice. Chrome base. Look at that. Y'all tell me any info on this. If you know anything about it, that is a beauty. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. This is a 2004. Well, that'll about do it this time. I'll catch you on flip side. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.